Dr. Ted, you mentioned you survived two AI winters. You hear these conversations about people who specialized in artificial intelligence 10, 20 years ago, and it seemed like this dark area of academia where people just went and did research but were like really depressed about what they're working on. And now it's exploded over the past couple of months. Where are we in this conversation as it pertains to using AI tools for health? For us in health optimization, better ways to optimize health. What is interesting about our field is that because we're focused on the cell, we have more data points to consider as a network rather than if you were just considering the heart alone or the liver alone, etc. Actually, this goes back to one of our core perspective shifts at Health Optimization Medicine and Practice, which is that idea of shifting from organology and focusing on, for instance, the heart to holobiontology or focusing on yourself as a collection of organisms. You get into these very complex ranges of metabolites that, as you said, those correlations, we may not have known that they existed before. Ooh.